Hello again. Welcome to a Wolf Hunter video. Today we'll be taking out the HC162 for my first flight actually of this plane. Um, you can see that because look, modifications haven't even started. I still have my 10 free repairs. And yeah, let's get into the video. I'll sit back on I suppose. Now, this plane is a jet engine as you can see, battery rating 6.7 in the German tech tree. It comes before the MiG-15 bids and is after the Focke line and the uh, Italian planes. Its armament is two MG-151 cannons, 240 rounds for both, which is 120 for each cannon. Now, here comes the first problem with this plane, and that is its default rounds. I mean, the only real uh, damage-making shell is the HEI, which is there's only a quarter chance it'll actually hit them with that if you aim properly and stuff like that. Uh, although I do believe actually 1.59 they'll be adding, they'll be updating the model to have the machine cannon 108 instead of the MB151s, although I'm not too sure about that. So, what are the pros and cons of this plane? Uh, cons, let's start off with because there are far more cons than pros. Poor acceleration, poor turn time. Poor climb rate, poor dive. Well, the dive rate isn't that bad, and stuff like like that. It's similar to the ME262. It has the same. Oh, I believe that's the same engine anyway. Taking forever. Cons: It's fast when you finally get it to go somewhere. I mean, if we look at this 481 top speed, ME262. This is fully upgraded, obviously. Okay. Uh, look. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but once you really get this thing going, it is pretty quick, and it's also a small target, which is hard to hit. Apparently, that 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 is a uh, pro for it. So yeah. But other than that, the only real thing it has going for it as well is that. 6.7 battery rating, which means you'll be fighting alongside stuff like the Focke Wolf D9, C152, oh, Korea. So, yeah, so Korea, you don't usually get this plane uh, map for only Germans, you usually get it with Russians and Germans against okay, Americans. Most certainly not in here, this is the more of a uh, the sad people zone. This is the cool bit, kids zone where the MiG-15s rush in. This is uh, where the sabers uh, get uh, clubbed, and the hunter. So the hunter's uh, hunter is a clubbing machine. Also, full tank, 29, 24 minutes. But yes, so as you can see, uh, the acceleration is incredibly poor. I'll just put down the volume. Still not going anywhere. Although this thing does have web. But then again, it overheats like crazy, so you might not want to it. But yeah. Other than that, it also looks like a really nice plane. I'm not going to lie, it is, it is cool. Oh, burn. It does look cool. It doesn't look like something dangerous, but it looks cool. Now, how you should fly this plane? As you can see, I already overheated my engine, so let's not go into that. You should really not take off until you are certain you have enough speed. Maps like Sicily, that's fine. You can see I can't yet take off. I'm there in the runway. Up. Ah, oh, plane, you actually took off. Now, as you can see, uh, this plane doesn't accelerate quickly whatsoever. At all. Even even the Horton, which is has is renowned for poor acceleration, even it can't. Uh, it, in at this speed, at this time, after taking off, it would have been 200. 250 miles per hour, and my Horton is fully upgraded, so yeah, you can already can't see that. My G6 is also upgraded, it's fully stated, it's cool, but yeah. So, stop, you probably want to maybe zoom climb with this thing, that's 15 degrees Celsius, <laughs> funny, uh, 15 degrees uh, after you have actually got enough speed, that is how you play a plane, uh, a jet plane. Not not like a pop like this guy just after going off the runway just put that 20 degree climb just stayed there, but you do really need to uh, 
Zoom Primary Jets. That is how we play these. As a starter jet, this plane is probably the best one that Germany has. The ME262 is also a good one, but the thing is, it for some reason it comes uh, after the ME163, and the ME163 isn't a good starter jet. I mean, it's not even a jet to begin with. So, yeah. A26 is there. Um, yeah, okay. As you can see, going nowhere, no, nowhere near clear. Uh, can't even talk. Nowhere near the battle yet because I'm not in position to engage. I'm low, slow, and yeah. Also, I'm not touching that button. Now I am, obviously, because that's the yeah, but So. Development for this plane was incredibly quick. Oh dear. I don't know whether I've uploaded this in such a high point, but there is a dot over there, so uh, shouldn't be okay. Just going towards my case of that, so that. Development for this plane uh, was incredibly quick because at that time Germany was, uh, well, about to lose the war. So they made this. This is the Volksjager. Walks Yago rather, sorry. Uh, this just means, what is it, you know, I think it is people's jet, and that is literally what it was. It was for the people to fly out, for people like the Hitler Youth. Yep. Those people, the teenagers, to fly this plane out. I mean, obviously, that is an incredibly uh, scary experience to be flying a plane that you barely had any training for before you, I don't know even finish puberty like, after like you know you know what I mean so obviously Germany was incredibly incredibly uh, uh, well I must do anything that I could to salvage the situation and win the war and so yeah that's what it did it wasn't it didn't work obviously but uh, yeah so this thing does have a lot of history with it and it is uh, interesting to know and realize this. Uh, let's actually get into the battle because I mean we are, we're not in the perfect situation. I'm not going to lie, but we don't want to just have the story time with Hatchuske because that would be sad. I mean, story time. I'm mean, great story time. Let me tell you about this and that. Yeah, it's better to reflect as well because I mean after a certain altitude it doesn't overheat as much, but still. Because I do really need my speed up and my thingy up. Let's see, there is an FHF ground pounding. If I can find out where he is, then. No, not over there. Alright. See, because that sound, that, I think that would be a ideal opportunity for us to get a kill with this. Let me see. I don't know where he is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Not good. Okay. As you can see, my engine is already overheating, which is um, awkward. Ah, uh, there we are. Found him. Oh dear. Also found someone else. Uh, are you coming for me? I don't know. Okay, no, let's just see more. Hmm, that guy's coming for me though. No, mate. No, mate. Nope, 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 nope. Say wait, say wait. It's just it's out. Leave me alone. Why are you doing this? I on what did I do to you? Come on now, come on. I'm I'm recording a video here. Say wait, say wait, say wait, say wait, say wait, say wait. Up, up, up. Wah. Right there we are. Oh, we haven't shaken him though, you know, in fact we're still flying. But now you can see why this plane really does get out of the of the community. It's useless. It's useless. It is useless. 
But then again, I'm also used to spider. Still, it is hard for me to fly, but it's a good strategy because once you learn how to fly this great like properly, uh, then uh, you you can fly anything. <laughs> you know, you still can't fly in the PO2 effectively. Let's get into another plane though. Uh, match rather. Uh, see, what modifications can you get? Start off with this. Silly uh, Billy. Start off with this uh, upgrade. Most certainly, you don't really want any. This is. You aren't going to get many kills with this or any kills at all. Next, afterwards, you could get air targets or stealth. Up to you. I'll go for air targets for myself. Because I'm used to firing the Hispanos at the moment until I actually get used to a few different large map against the Russians as well. Although it could be down to, I mean, I still won't get anywhere with the town to anyway, but yeah. Afterwards, you should get the compressor because you do really need the engine power. Without the engine power, you aren't going anywhere. Get it because that is the thing that propelled you the engine. Uh, but yeah, you honestly aren't going to get anywhere without the engine. Oh look, it's a, uh, it's a uh, mixed battle. <laughs> yes, yay, yay, yay. Let's do this. Yes, you have to encourage my people, you know. The LF Mark 9 is yeah. Russian guys. Take off flaps. Get ourselves in the air. For the end of the runway. 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 Before. Okay, let's see how it is. Ah, finally. I'm not going to lie though, I do enjoy playing this thing, it's a, it's a challenge. This is after I got the thingy Spitfire Mark 22 Talisman and I just get... I'm going to make a video on that as well. Spitfire Mark 22 is... Uh, it isn't, it's slightly overpowered. It's like, climbs really well, it turns really well. It does better when it's actually up to it than down to it because the jets that you fight when it's down to it are up to it, are useless compared to it, like this paint. What does it have? I mean, you saw how when the Spitfire Mark 24 was with my tail, the thing I could shoot could make it go away. It's more maneuverable than, than me, and it has a lower roll rate. I mean, this paint has a respectable roll rate, respectable. Not too good, not too bad, it's respectable. So, but, it's quicker than me. Maybe not faster than me, but it certainly have better acceleration. I mean, look at look how slow I'm going after it takes off where. Look, the, the fuck wolf is just going behind me saying, ha, 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 you are slow, you are slow, man, what are you doing? Uh, but yeah, but this isn't, this isn't the video about this pick fire Mark 22, this is a video about the HE162, and how about it is, but I hope you understand this thing does have potential, if you play it well, then it does have potential. Like, for instance, the BF19 G6, this is the, that's the BF19 I play with the most in I'll just show you my stats with it. Germany. On our ND6, of course, the league. Of course, the KP. That's embarrassing. But, yeah, I have played with that playing the most. You know, BF Online, rather. That is the type of BF uh, I played play the most. When I first got it, it was horrible. It couldn't climb well. It could turn. The guns were useless. You know how the uh, MG131s are. Horrible. And like I said, the MG151 stock belts horrible, but you know what? I persevered, and this is this thing to do not with any, not with like just these two planes, but every plane. You do need to persevere because honestly, once you get it going, it is great. I mean, some people play this plane out there in love with it. It's this is amazing. Oh look, a P17. Hmm. Let's finish that. Just in order to get into a climb, this I mean, just while we're climbing, this looking a bit because to make use of all the tools you have. All right, 
the stockpiling. Also, I believe this thing doesn't even have a bad energy retention. I'm not too sure, obviously, about that. But it's running away. Is he coming closer? He can't really run away on the chat. I mean, come on, now. but he, he's actually coming. Wait, no, he's coming closer. Whew. Okay, that is uh, beef. Beef, beef, beef. Uh, it's in the two B seventeen. Now he's coming in. Ah, got him. Right. And as you can see, I prayed and prayed because I knew that virtually none of virtually none of my bullets will actually do anything. But yeah, so and pray. That is the only way. But as you can see, I am now uh, going away from the action over there. See some planes. I'm this plane with altitude and altitude advantage. Will be unbeatable. Even though the energy retention once you get out of the dive and up isn't perfect, but it is good. It's decent. Obviously, uh, this plane, no, uh, no, the low speed is horrible, so we aren't going to even try to engage anyone at the moment. That B17 couldn't do anything against me, except it could shoot me down with its turrets, but I didn't even try. I took no damage from this and that. But yeah. First kill is a B17. It's not quite as uh, cool as my first uh, MiG-15 kill, which is a Hunter in the head-on. Do you know? It kills me, obviously. It's a Hunter in the head-on. What, what are you going to do about it? I mean, but yeah. Although, then again, I did go in a head-on against a, with a Horton against that and killed him. And he think well, he did, here's the thing, he technically did kill me. Kill, did kill me just not then, because he took off the path of my wing and when I tried to land, I flipped over and I died. So yeah, but this was actually, he, I think he got the kill. And he deserved the kill, to be honest, because uh, there was nothing I could do. Ooh, a Spitfire, right. As you can see, I have an altitude advantage. So let's throw that away by going to head on pass. Spitfire. Paid. Oh yes, what are you going to? Oh, shut up! What what's you going? Look at that. Mm. Yeah, I'm too good for you. A little idiot thinks it's cool. Head on with me. Do I get a clap for that? I think I do. I think I do. Correct, kid. Get good. I think I should get like a good. Uh, a good, uh, I don't know. Do I get a nice mention for this? Anything? This is top HU162, and I probably the worst check plane. I mean, at least the Yak 15 and Yak 17 have uh, something over them, their maneuverability. This is maneuverable. It has a nice roll plate. Because you. Wow. It actually rolls around a. a it's. I'm actually getting. I'm getting to love this game. This is actually amazing. I, I need to play this game more. You know, I, I literally I got this play. First I researched it, and then I couldn't be bothered to actually buy it. And well, no, I bought it to get the MiG-15. Couldn't be bothered to crew it. And when I did finally get managed to crew it, I mean, it's money. Why would I spend money on that? I actually didn't. I didn't fight it. Tempest coming in, Tempest coming in. Let's get the Tempest. Okay. FHF is well coming in. Okay, right, this one is FHF. As you can see, I do need to concentrate. Oh, Spitfire, Spitfire Z, you also want to go for the hell of the pass. He is. Okay, he actually is here. Yeah. Oh, I was a bit shabby in my body, fine. That's what I'm saying. Ding. That was a spark. I heard that. Ouch. That was horrible. From me, anyway. So, yeah. I think that's all I have to say for this plane. Just give it patience. That is, I mean, now I'm actually in love with it because I bought it. I'm fine with it. So, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you have a good day. Bye 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 bye.